So welcome to our second AppSim training module. Um, so if you've just relaunched AppSim, AppSim you'll notice it's um, opened up with where we, in our most previously saved simulation. Um, in this case, our comparison between our heavy clay and sand soils in terms of um, in our fallow simulation. So the next exercise we're going to um, undertake is is a continuation of the fallow theme. In this in this exercise, we're going to in, um, investigate the effect of residue cover um, on store water storage during fallow. So this will get you familiar with the um, the surface organic matter component within AppSim. So if you if AppSim hasn't loaded up your um, your save simulation from module one. Um, go ahead and open it up now using the open button in the top toolbar. And the first thing we always do when we start a new simulation is we save it as something new. So if we click on save as, and we're going to call this one module two. Because this is the second AppSim training module. And then we're going to delete a few components. So we want to delete um, all the graphics components out of our simulation tree. And also delete the sand, sand simulation. We're just going to be working with the clay or the heavy clay soil in this case. And then we're going to rename our um, simulation just to, and we're going to rename it to clay fellow. Now let's expand out our simulation tree and see what we got here. So here's our, our simulation tree and by clicking on the surface organic matter component, we open up this interface here, which says that we've got our initial surface organic matter um, residue is a thousand kilos um, per hectare with our, and it's, um, it's the type of organic matter is wheat and the carbon nitrogen ratio of that is 80. Now, we're going to create a another simulation. We're going to compare two simulations now. So to do that, click on the clay fallow simulation, drag it up and place it back into the simulations folder to create a duplicate of it, and then rename this one. So right click on right click on clay, clay fallow, select rename, and rename it to clay fallow residue. and then expand out that simulation tree to the surface organic matter node and change the amount of surface organic matter from 1,000 to 3,000 kilograms per hectare. So we've got a, now we've got a simulation that's got 1,000 kilos of um, surface organic matter res residue present and we've got a sim at the start and we've got a simulation with 3,000 kilos of organic matter, um, surface organic matter residue present. Now to run both simulations, click the simulations folder at the top of the simulation tree and click run. And there we go, they've both run clearly. We don't have an error symbol throwing up um, next to our progress bar. So we can look now, we could try to compare between our two output files. So we could be looking at both the output files from both the, the simulations and you'll notice there that the numbers are slightly different. but a much better way and much more efficient way of comparing between simulations is to create a graph. So to do that, um, go to the graphs toolbox, um, expand out that graphs folder, select the XY graph and drag it up and place it into the simulations folder. And then rename this one to organic matter cover. Okay, expand out the graphics component until we get to the AppSim file reader. Use the browse button and now select the clay fallow and clay residue dot out files. So the two output files that are generated by our two simulations. Click on the plot node, uh, make sure the X variables box is selected and select date. And then under Y variables, we're going to want to plot the surface organic matter cover and rainfall. So select surface organic matter cover and rainfall. And then we want to make sure we plot 
rainfall on the right hand axis so right click on it and select right hand axis um, change the point type to none so we don't get dots and select on click on the graphics mode and you should see a plot that looks like this which shows our organic matter cover decreasing over time in both our simulations but the um, simulation so our, our just our clay fallow simulation where there's only a thousand kilos of wheat stubble present um, it starts from a much lower base and hence by the end of the fall uh, end of the 12 months we've got no um, organic matter residue left in that simulation. The other thing we might want to compare is runoff between these two simulations. So how does what's the impact of having that surface organic matter? Um, or what's the impact of that surface organic matter on runoff? So to do that, let's create a duplicate of our organic matter cover graphics node in our simulation. So just click on it, drag it, and place it back up to our simulations folder to create a copy of it. And let's rename that one to runoff because expand that out click on the plot node delete the surface organic matter cover from the y variables and select runoff as the y variable we want to plot and then click back on the runoff node and then turn on both our runoff um, options Notice here it's not uh, it's not a cum we didn't ask for a cumulative runoff so we have got each individual runoff event and there's a few um, we can see here that the the clay fallow runoffs tend to be higher than the the um, the clay fallow residue runoffs however it's a bit hard to tell what the total what this what the sum of that is across the entire fallow so click back on the plot node select runoff right click on it and change it to cumulative runoff. And then click back on the runoff node, the, the runoff plot node, and now turn both our line, our um, the cumulative runoff on for both simulations. And now we can see here that there's definitely a clear um, reduction in runoff. So it's almost what would it be? It's more that it's more than um, 20 millimeters. It's probably ne nearly closer to 30, 30 millimeters difference um, in annual runoff between. A simulation that's got um, 3,000 kilograms of dry matter as surface organic matter um, versus 1,000 um, kilos of surface organic matter per hectare. So that's great, but what happens if we had a different type of organic matter um, present, so the residue type? And we can use AppSim to investigate this. So again, select the clay fallow residue simulation click on it, drag it up and place it into the simulations folder to create another, um, a, a third simulation. And this one we're going to rename to clay fallow chickpea residue. And then expand it out. Go back to um, expand out the paddock node as well and go to the surface organic matter node. And we're going to change our surface organic matter type from wheat to chickpea we want to change our pool name to chickpea so type in chickpea in the pool name and also change the carbon to nitrogen ratio from 80 down to 25 okay save the simulation click back on the simulations folder and then click run simulations complete now if we go back to our surface organic matter cover plot node expand it out go to the apps in file reader we've only got our two output files there we want to select a third so click on browse and select the clay fallow remember hold down the control key to select multiple files at once um, select the clay fallow residue and the clay fallow chickpea residue dot out files Go back to the plot node, make sure we've got surface organic matter cover as one of the Y variables, rainfall plotted on the right axis and date as the X variable. Select it and then make sure we turn on our surface organic matter um, chickpea residue output as well. And see here that even though we had in that simulation 3000 kilos of dry matter chickpea residue, our cover, so this is the area of soil that's being covered by that residue, is a lot less. So um, from that, 
simulation it's it's the it's almost um, not quite the same but fairly close to only a thousand kilos of wheat um, surplus organic matter residue and just to we might want to explore instead of cover so the area covered we let's explore the weight so go back to your plot node delete um, the cover from the y variables box and select surface organic matter weight and then click back on the surface organic matter cover node and switch back on our simulation outputs and you see here that the that the chickpea residue clearly breaks down a lot quicker than the wheat residue so the wheat residue is long longer lasting and the chickpea residue breaks down and um, and by the end of the simulation there's none left on the soil surface so you can use AppSim to investigate a whole range of different um, surface organic matter types and um, properties and their in, its impact on fallows and soil water storage and so and water loss from a fallow either as um, as runoff and that concludes module two so um, hit save to save the simulation and I'll see you back for module three.